Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you missed last video, pause this one and go watch it first. A quick recap, Sapsi and I went to visit my friend Brandon of Canadian Cold Blood. We were lucky enough to participate in the excavating and incubation preparation of Sabsi's mother's most recent clutch of eggs, as well as get to see how a bunch of Brandon's animals are doing and have a look at some of the new additions to his Australian knobtail gecko collection. Now, if you made it to the end of that video, which I hope you did, you know that I went there to have Sabzi sexed and to surprise you all with bringing home my next green tree monitor. I wanted to make sure that I was bringing home an animal that was opposite sex to Sabzi. In today's video, I am incredibly happy to share with you my new male captive bred green tree monitor, Varanus Prisinus. So, Let's get back to Brandon's place where we left off at Canadian Cold Bloods facility, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay guys, so this is super exciting. We are going through a few of the juvenile Varanus Prisinus to choose another animal. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're fast. So we can go through and, and sex some of the animals. Make sure it's opposite of Sabzi's sex. So there's one. I don't want to get too close and spook them, but beautiful monitor. I want to like it. I saw the one along with So here are a few of the green trees. And one of these could potentially be the one coming home with me today. We'll have to see. So looking at them gets me excited. Never it's neat to see that there's even a bit of a, I don't know if that's just from shedding or not, but one's a bit lighter than the other two. Yeah, those are... Yeah, that's just... Nope, they're all in the... Well, yeah, a variation in that clutch. Yeah. This guy over here. Ah. I, call, I call that the dark more for the blue line. Not that it's actually <laughs> more. Right, right. Just by the look of the adults, right? So, yeah, yeah. Dark morph, dark morph, and I have one or one bigger one over here. I should probably sex it. And I think this is actually a boy. I can just tell by looking at the ball oh, yeah, hanging true. outside there. So I, if, if I'm, I'm going to sex it as a boy and then I'll just leave it in there. Okay. Yeah. See how fast that is? Yeah. Well, you thought you were getting away. Sabzi used okay. to be that crazy. <laughs> Way back. Yeah, you can tell I, I'm not a I'm not a socialized. Well, oh, you don't have time for that with yeah. how many you have. So yeah, that that I would say is a male for sure. Okay. And then kind of looking for the hemipenal bulges. Yeah, I mean I'm just looking at the bulges right there. Okay. So I I need to keep a male and female from this bloodline yep. myself. Of so course, no that's problem. That's my boy. <laughs> Very good. Now that Brandon had picked out a few beautiful monitors that were from a different bloodline than Sabzi's, it was time to sex each of them and make sure we had a male. I would say I would say that's a female. That's a male, just by looking at the the neck like thickness the and uh, a bit more okay. the pattern in the neck. Nice. See how broad that tail base is there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and let's see if we can just show you the neck, the neck pattern, difference on these two. As seen in my last video, Brandon showed us the difference between male and female animals using Sabzi as a reference. Little did I know that the animal he was holding in his right hand would actually be the tree monitor I was going to get to take home that night. A stunning male green tree monitor from his blue line as he explained before. You can really see the contrast between the two animals coloration and I think it'll be real fun to see the two as they grow up. Sabzi, look at you, your girl. We went through a few of the beautiful juvenile animals and Brandon has confirmed sex this juvenile green tree as male. Yeah, Aren't... so yeah, this this is a, a little male. Um, sexed him for Diane and he hatched out on September 30th. So it appears that what this was the, the only male from that class, yeah. right? I've said it before, I get a lot of female tree monitors. So, mm -hmm. so thank God there was at least one oh, in yeah, there for thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, the, an unrelated bloodline from Sabzi. So 
it's going to be exciting to eventually, not any Russian, not any time soon, <laughs> breed them. But, oh man, they're just such amazing animals. So thanks again, Brandon. Yeah, no so problem. stoked on this guy. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, guys, he's so awesome. Yeah, I'm so stoked. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, but this is so sick. I mean, where that is, you all know those are just isopods on the label. <laughs> All right, buddy, I know it's, it's He's like, stressful. What's happening? It's stressful. <laughs> You'll be home soon enough. All right, guys, so this is my handsome new male green tree. Gonna have to think of an awesome name for him. And speaking of name suggestions, my mother actually approached me after seeing my last video and suggested I call this little guy Basil. Honestly, I fell in love with the name, so that's what we're going with. So everybody, welcome Basil to my reptile family. guys so here is the completed enclosure for my handsome new green tree monitor Varanus Brasinus. For today's question of the day I want to ask you guys what is your favorite brand choice for your reptile lighting needs? I must say I've become quite fond of the Arcadia UVB bulbs but as you can see I use an array of different products from different brands for light housing and the bulbs themselves. Let me know. Let's go ahead and get him in here. I want to quickly show you guys before we bring him into the enclosure. Now that we're back from Brandon's, I want to quickly point out some of the plants in here. So we have some beautiful Rapidophora tetrasperma. We have a Buddhist pine up here. We have a lemon button fern down here. We have a Calathea networks over here, which is another beautiful plant. This one overgrew one of the fantasticus enclosures. So I cleaned it off well and removed it since you all know that we're uh, keeping them in quarantine bin, so link to that if you want to understand what that's all about. Um, and uh, yeah, I also have a little peperomia cutting down here, and I thought I'd try and salvage. This is a jasmine that was like basically dead. I thought I'd put it in here, why not? But yeah, that's kind of what's going to go in here. All right, guys, so here he is. You just be careful getting him out of here. You don't want to spook him too much. Hey, buddy. Look at him. All right, everyone, so here he is. Very, very handsome tree monitor. I do like that he has this like almost bluish hue. Can't really make it out that well, but I'm gonna try and get one more better angle or shot of uh, his 
pattern and such so you guys can see that a bit better and then we'll let him go right into the enclosure. So yeah guys, as Brandon mentioned, this is like his blue line of green tree monitors. You can see that every other row is blue on the body and we can see how the neck pattern extends higher as he mentioned on the males. Look at that handsome boy. He looks amazing. Anyways, let's not stress him more. And I'll give him a few days to settle in and then we'll try feeding him. Here you go, buddy. Go ahead. This is your new home. Now keep in mind, Brandon doesn't do any type of socializing with his tree monitors. So this guy is as shy as can be. I'm sure the only reason he wasn't going crazy and I was holding him is because he's a little bit on the cooler side, even though we had a heat pack in the box. But uh, I think we're gonna make some great progress. He's still captive bred, he's still very young. Definitely won't be too hard to train the little man. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, I know I got Sabzi only at a month of age, but this size tree monitor is still very easy to train. Yeah, buddy, you're good. You can see right away he's flattened out a bit so he can get in some heat. And we got that beautiful characteristic tail curl. A little bit of shed on the end of his tail, but we'll monitor all that. Ha ha ha, monitor. Yeah, guys, there he is. After a few days of letting Basil settle into his enclosure, it was time to feed him. All right, guys, so I just gave him a bunch of crickets but he's pretty shy. He's been staying in that log and because the ceramic heat emitter is right above it, he gets warm enough. But sometimes after like most of the day, he'll actually come out a little bit. And I honestly think he's only doing that to catch some UVB rays. But yeah, he's just very cautious. And Sabzi was the same when I first got her. But let's see if he's gonna take some crickets. He did kind of turn and look at them a bit. I'm gonna leave the room, but I'm gonna set up a tripod here so that he won't be disturbed by my presence and we'll see through time lapse if he runs around and hunts some of these crickets that are dusted with uh, Arcadia Earth Pro Vitamin A. All right, let's see what our man does. But yeah, look at those beautiful colorations on him. Again, I don't wanna get too close and bug him, but such a handsome tree monitor. So I left the room and let Basil do his thing. You'll notice that after a few moments he decided to start foraging around and even made a little trip to his water dish to have a drink. That being said, I'm not so sure he started eating just yet, so we're just going to give him a few more days to settle in. I'm sure in a few weeks I'll have some great footage to show you of this guy eating just as well as Sabzi does every time. Well friends, with that all being said, I want to take a moment to wish you all safe, healthy and happy holidays. Be responsible, have a lovely time, whether you're alone with your family or with your friends, but please, you know, be careful. These are very testing times and I wish you all a wonderful holiday season, religious or not, have a wonderful time. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We got to meet this lovely guy. Anyways, guys. Thank you again for watching. If you want to see a playlist of my green tree monitors, check out the link up above. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. See you guys all on Tuesday. Take care.